everyone welcome back to my channel it is currently sunday and it is not just any sunday it is about to be the greatest day of my life that is not an exaggeration i am about to go see han zimmer in concert <laughs> I literally cannot explain to you the excitement I have right now. This is like Harry Styles, Beyonce level to me. If you do not know who Hans Zimmer is, he composes films. But if you've watched a movie ever, you probably recognize his music. Kung Fu Panda, Pirates of the Caribbean, Interception, Interstellar, you name it, he's done it. One thing about me as well is I'm a massive film score nerd. I just love film music. So I am so, so excited for this. So three who sponsored the arena that this is in, like the concert hall, they got me two tickets, but unfortunately that fell through and they could only get me one. So I'm actually going to be on my own. I'm going to a concert on my own! Before I found out they could only get me two tickets, I got two resale tickets for my mom and my dad. I really wanted to treat them to something, so they were coming with me and I was going to bring Owen, obviously. But now I'm on my own and my mom and dad are like in a whole different section. So I'll basically be on my own for the whole concert, which is kind of crazy. I'm obviously really nervous about it. I am so introverted. But also at the same time, I would regret, I would highly regret not going to this just because I was a little nervous. So we're going. So yeah, this is about to be a very nerve-wracking, very exciting, life-changing night in my life. And you guys are coming with me because I got this new camera. I have to show you. This new camera is going to be the best thing in the world for my social anxiety and filming outside because I hate filming in public. My camera is huge. It's very obvious what I'm doing and it scares the crap out of me. I get so embarrassed filming. However, this little guy, which I'm going to turn on now, It is so adorable. So it's this tiny little camera, it's on a gimbal. It's so, so cool. So I'm just gonna film the whole concert with this, but yeah. I better get going. Welcome back to an insanely crazy introvert diaries. If you're an introvert, push yourself out of your comfort zone. It's terrifying, but the feeling afterwards is always worth it in my opinion. I love nothing more than an eye in and avoiding people. Just being honest. However, it's also very important to push myself out of the comfort zone that I love so much. So yeah, I'm about to do something that is so far out of my comfort zone. I feel sick, but the excitement is actually for once overweighing the nerves. At this point, I just couldn't care less. I'm about to see Hans Zimmer live. I'm gonna see the man on a stage. Okay, let's go. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm going. Okay, I love you guys so much. Bye. The next day it is Monday I had the night of my life last night and I cannot even put it into words how incredible that experience was I will chat to you more about that in a bit but 
right now I'm gonna give my room a tidy. It's back to reality, it is Monday, it's the start of a new week. I just wanna have a good week. You guys might have seen my video last week, I just wasn't feeling the best the last two weeks. So I really think last night like really just, I don't know, it just gave me so much joy and happiness. I know I always seem to be cleaning my room, but you know when like little parts of your room start to get just messy and dirty and cluttered? I have loads of little corners in my room right now that could just really do with a good clean. So that's what I'm gonna do today because today I'm putting up my movie posters up behind my bed. I got three movie posters that are 50 by 70 so they're big posters and I got frames for them today so my dad's gonna bring them home later on so I want to have my room nice and fresh and clean and just I don't know give it a new lease of life with these posters behind here which I'm so excited about. I cannot wait to put them up and show you guys but for now let's get a little bit of cleaning and organizing done and dusted. Wednesday and it is 7 25 in the morning. I'm going to Belfast today with my mom just for a little nosy a little bit of shopping I think. I am so so happy with how my film posters turn out. Literally I keep waking up and just looking up like this. I think they're so so nice. I'm going to chat to you guys properly when I get back from Belfast but for now let's go. It's very early but I'm excited. <sighs> okay. See ya. Guys, I'm back watching Sex and the City. I pretty much watch it every single summer. It's just the best thing in the world. It is currently Thursday and I got back from Belfast yesterday evening. And I'm not gonna lie, I shopped till I dropped. That is no word of a lie. I haven't really gotten myself much like summer clothes. Um, like this time of year is hard for a lot of people with regards to like body image and it's very warm in Ireland. I'm struggling with what to wear at the moment. So I went straight into Hollister. Hollister has the best quality basics in my opinion. So I got a few bits from there. I literally went in there and I was just like, yes, yes. And I tried things on and they all made me feel good, which is really nice. So I'm very happy, but I'm currently just drinking a coffee. I have had such an incredible week. It's mostly because I'm feeling so good mentally. And I have to talk to you guys about this because Earl is running inside with like fluff in his mouth. Can you explain yourself, good sir? But yes, I'm an introvert through and through, there's no doubt about it. But at the same time, I am such a believer in pushing myself out of that comfort zone when I can. And this year, one of my biggest goals was to push myself out of my introvert comfort zone way more. But unfortunately, with like the first five months plus of this year being my final year of college. I was literally just in college and in my comfort zone. And I was feeling really down like the past two weeks and I couldn't quite put my finger on it. But when I went to Hans Zimmer on Sunday and I went by myself, but doing that act of like extremely outside of my comfort zone, it was so, so rewarding. Like I honestly felt it was one of the greatest acts of self-love and that might sound a bit dramatic but 
when you do push yourself out of your comfort zone, you find like such a love for yourself because you're so proud of yourself for doing this. And I don't know, it was just exactly what I needed. I felt so invigorated by doing something that felt uncomfortable but exciting at the same time. And obviously you don't wanna feel like severely uncomfortable in a situation. I'm not talking about that kind of pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone. But I honestly strongly believe every now and again, even if it's once a month, twice a month, once a week, whenever. If you do something that is a little bit uncomfortable or outside of your typical routine, I think it's one of the best things you can do for yourself, for self-love, for just overall happiness, because as scary as it might feel at the time, the feeling afterwards of like, oh my God, you did that. Like you literally did that. I'm so proud of you. Um, it was just incredible. So it ended up, I just felt really good this week and I felt really happy in myself and kind of inspired. You know, if I can do things like that, I can do anything. And that's what kind of it feels like. So, but yeah, I'm just over the moon from that this week, feeling very proud and excited for myself. I'm going to go upstairs and get dressed for the day because I'm still in my PJs as you can see um and yeah how are you guys doing tell me also if me going to a concert by yourself has inspired you please tell me what it is that you're gonna do this week pushing yourself outside your comfort zone even just a tiny bit you let me know we can chat about it love ya <laughs> <laughs> I just made a coffee, but I'm just not in the mood for a coffee. It's too sunny outside. Maybe I'll have a Coke. Shadow 